Well, tonight, a new and unusual way to make medicine. Researchers in Scotland say they have found a way to have chickens lay eggs filled with medicine. It's a method that could make some drugs much more affordable. WBZ's uh, Dr. Malika Marshall has the story. These chickens are far from ordinary. They're laying eggs containing cancer-killing drugs. Scientists at the University of Edinburgh have genetically modified birds to produce human proteins in their eggs that boost the immune system. In the past, making these transgenic animals has been very inefficient, very expensive and difficult. And what we've done is found a method that makes it a lot faster, a lot more efficient. Scientists say the egg white contains the treasure large quantities of medically important proteins which they can purify and package as medicines to treat arthritis and some cancers. If you want to have more eggs you just need more birds and that's why we have in this pen here we have a cockerel and he can produce an awful lot of children in a short time. Eggs are already used for growing viruses used in vaccines such as the flu shot. Scientists say making medicine with eggs is up to a hundred times cheaper than producing it in a factory. Currently, they can extract one dose of a drug from three eggs, and hens can lay up to 300 eggs a year. Researchers believe they can eventually breed enough chicks to produce medicine for patients commercially. So the researchers say it's going to take 10 to 20 years before they can sort of go through what you can imagine is a complicated regulatory process before it can be made commercially available. But really fascinating science. It's incredible. Some people might worry that modifying, genetically modifying the chickens could end up harming them in some way. Is there any truth to that? The researchers say that the hens are fine. And in fact, they're hoping to be able to use this process to develop medicines and other treatments for animals as well. Mm. So they might benefit from their own eggs. Amazing. Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you so You're much.